Happy Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Okay, so Lindsay normally opens the show. I was like, what are you now, doing? What? And now we you know, know we're recording, why. right? <laughs> and now is, it, we know is the why. show going to be like this? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, let me tell you something. I got up. I did a workout with the hot hit yoga. I had two cups of coffee. And then I was like, if that's just not enough, I'm going to make myself a matcha latte. Oh, so no. So I'm a little pumped and up we're in the opposite sides and i have a newborn i've had no sleep i'm pumping right now as we do the podcast and i have an hour with grandmommy so i'm on i'm dragging and you're like ramped up oh i could run (laughs) like five laps around the house but today we're going to show you how to do that Lindsay, with probiotics prebiotics and symbiotics which oh my god i did well i did want to tell you this because we get I have a, a feeling you have a lot to tell on this. Oh, I have a lot, <laughs> lots to say, lots of tips, lots of everything. But I did want to let you know this because if you're listening to us and if you're following us, I am so happy you're here because Lindsay and I were sisters. We are on a skincare journey and a health journey, and we're not shy about our age and where we're at. I'm perimenopausal. Lindsay just had a baby. She's 46. I'm 48. And I just wanted to begin by borrowing this quote that I heard in my... Borrowing? At every episode, you just bring one out. Oh, bring, well, no, because borrow, this that, quote that you really... borrowed. Yeah, I borrowed a quote. Borrowing. Listen, I'll explain. In my yoga class, one of my favorite instructors, she said this quote at the end of class, and she said, it's never too late to begin, but it is too late to quit. And I can relate that to skincare, because if you've never taken care of your skin before, begin today. Yeah. Begin today. Slap on some SPF. Listen to our past podcast. Or massage it in. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> let's do a she's facial massage with spf <laughs> she's the master esthetician lens used to own her own spa over you know 13 years and i've worked beside her and there's always like it's so cute because i know my stuff but Lindsay puts that extra ribbon on it extra bow <laughs> and then i wanted to say if you haven't taken care of your health it's okay begin today Take a little walk, eat a vegetable. If you want to begin your dream, I don't know what that looks like or your dream home, whatever. Just take a little step. So that's just my encouragement of the day. As I said, it was so funny though, because as soon as I heard that quote and then you think, oh, you know, it really resonated with me. I got it. Then two minutes after the class, I went up to her and I said, oh man, I said, I didn't realize that you used to be in the weightlifting competition. I said, I want to be like that. And she literally said, it's never too late to begin, but it is too late to quit. And I was laughing at myself because I just heard the quote and then I was getting down on myself like, oh man, is it too late for me to begin doing weights? No, it's not. It's we not. We need and to I do weights. Yes. But I am looking around at all of these super fit people and these classes that I go to and they've been doing weights and resistant training all of their life yeah I have not I just started getting into I've always done something but not hardcore weights and the reason why I'm doing it now is because as you age you lose muscle and you don't want to be frail you don't want to break a hip and so that is why my whole focus right now is really gaining muscles. So it was encouraging for me to hear, hey, it's never too late to start, but it is too late to quit. And just because I haven't been lifting weights for the past 10 years, like every single person has in this class, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to start today and continue to do well, it. Good for you. Thank you. Now, on with probiotics, prebiotics, symbiotics, and what kind of gross things do we need to drink or eat to keep us healthy? Listen, I'm really excited about the show because, yeah, I just had a newborn and my doctor actually just told me that we need to put probiotics in Allison's diet every day. Really? Yep. To help with his gut health. So we have started to do that. So for me, this show is pretty special because I was excited to do a deep, deep dive and understand, you know, what exactly the difference is between pre, pro and symbiotic. So we do a lot of research for each show. 
then we get to pass it on for you. When we lived in California, our friend Raza, one of our best friends, she eats a lot of kimchi. And we, I don't think we even knew what that was then. We just knew, okay, Raza's no. eating it. It looks cool. It's a fun side dish. Roslyn's cool. Roslyn's cool. So we need to do that. And then Ashley got on this kombucha cake. Okay. So I remember <laughs> you made your own kombucha like a crazy mama in your bedroom and I mean, I don't even know. Was that even safe to drink then? Who knows? I'm not sure. It's, it it looks suspicious. Is, that's all I have to say. It, it started to become suspicious because that's where the bacteria is. They call it the mother. Oh, gosh. It I'm was oh. as oh. huge. No, I started no. to get a little scared. It started to become. <laughs> oh, I did. That's when you're like, it, just it, go I, I was food, like, Ashley, I was, come on. I did. That's when I was like, you I know mean, what? You just I, I, don't, foods. I don't know about this because I had my husband, Ryan, get the kombucha mother out of my uh, jar. Oh, gosh. And it was the size of a small coffee table. Like, put three kids' heads together, and that was the size of it. And no, Ryan was like, was going on he there. got it out, and then he said, I can't even put this down the garbage disposal, Ashley. So he put it down the drain in our neighborhood. Oh, <laughs> and my. so I thought... I'm That's gonna, crazy. Isn't that weird? You know, it just had my children or I can't remember if I just had Reese or Penelope, but I think I was going through something. <laughs> and I remember I wanted to get sweatshirts that said booch girl. And I was just really, <laughs> oh my, yeah, it's weird. And everybody was really nice about me around me because nobody said anything to me. Everybody I think was quietly judging me, but they were all just kept quiet. You probably... You didn't say anything to yeah, me. your hormones. You probably, yeah, cut them with your words pretty fast. Probably. I mean, I was, I was pretty strong. Well, let's get into this show. I'm really excited to share with people what the difference is between the three. Okay. So probiotics, prebiotics, and symbiotics are all important because they promote a healthy gut microbiome. They aid in digestion. They reduce inflammation and boost your immune function. <laughs> But I did want to tell you the word microbiome, that word gets passed around a lot. So I just want to simplify why it's important. It's the bacteria and the microbes in your gut that help you digest the food. And your body is full of trillions of bacteria, viruses and fungi. And all of these are known as the microbiome. So what, Ashley? Like, I don't really care. Well, the reason why you need your microbiome to be healthy is because your body needs to be able to absorb the nutrients. And if you are absorbing the nutrients from the food you're eating, then that's going to help you with your immune system. And I got to tell you something, that is so incredibly important that we are all eating. And we're going to go into some examples of what they are, especially if you have kids, grandkids, or you have a job where you're working around children or sick people. I mean, I got to tell you something. My kids, I haven't been able to see baby Ellison in over a week because, no, a week and a half because my kids, they're always bringing home some sort of nasty sickness from school. And then they'll end up spending the night with my mom and they don't have any symptoms. And the next day they're like, <laughs> eh, eh, eh. and so now mom's starting to put the kibosh on the spend the nights because mom wants to see baby Ellison. And it was so cute because I told Lindsay, I said, oh, I said, I can't wait to see baby Allison this weekend. And Lindsay was like, mm, let's just, you don't need to, Ashley. I'd prefer you just wait a week. Your kids are sick. And so, I mean, I get and it. And when one get gets it. it, they all get it. Yeah. We just pass it around. So it's so good for your kids I'm, to take, you know, probiotics. Yes. So we're really all trying to stay on top of our health because when I get one of those sick kids coming in, if mama goes down. The house, whole house, house goes, goes down. down. We're going to break down the function of probiotics and some examples of how you can get this because probiotics are live microorganisms, which scares me a little bit. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I, you know, you just kind of think, oh, they're alive, but it's very important. I'm also very interested as I spoke before, is that because my son's pediatrician just put him on a probiotic. So I really wanted to understand it thoroughly. So these microorganisms, which are certain strains of bacteria and yeast, they are naturally present in the human digestive system and are found in many fermented foods like yogurt, kefir, sauerkraut, and kimchi. I'm not a huge kimchi person, but I like sauerkraut on like a hot dog. I really do. 
Um, yeah. And I like yogurt. And I don't particularly like kefir. I mean, you'd have to hide it in like a smoothie or something, the kefir. That's but- actually what I do because the kefir actually has more probiotic probiotics in it than yogurt but kefir has a really strong sour taste taste. yeah and so for my children what i do is i'll put the kefir in their smoothie so and i'll i'm sorry y'all i I put some juice in there i know we're not supposed to be drinking juice but i gotta hide the flavor so i put it in there with juice and other stuff so to balance it out could you put so banana with balance. My kids, I have to tell you, you know, I'm working on it. They're still young, but the way I make my smoothie is I'll put them kefir, cranberry juice, spinach, banana, and then frozen organic strawberries. Oh wow! And then they put some like, uh, yeah, sweet. chia seeds, and I feel good about everything but the juice. But you know, at least they're getting that in there. That's true. So for me, it's kind of like I have to think. All right take the good with the bad and hopefully there's more good in it than the bad well for example you may hear all the time about greek yogurt being so good for you which i do love i have greek yogurt a lot and i'll put some granola in it there's a superfood it's literally called superfood but it's pretty much like a granola topping that i love to put on my yogurt but anyway the yogurt has a lot of protein but get the ones without the sugar because you don't want to have all that sugar with the yogurt but turn the container over and the yogurt will actually tell you what strains of bacteria are in them. I thought that that was pretty cool. So you'll know the strains. Probiotics play an essential role in maintaining a healthy gut microbiome, which is the community of microorganisms that live in the digestive tract. Reason why we're just saying this again, because Ashley just said it, it's really important for us to grasp this, that this healthy gut microbiome is essential for proper digestion, absorption of nutrients and immune function. So probably if you have some things, health things going on, that's you want to start to look at your gut microbiome, like what's going on? Do you have a probiotic to help you with keep things moving? You're getting all your nutrients and you're just having everything run sp- basically run smoothly with your system. Yes. And one of this, I had one of the instructors, I just really briefly talked to her because she looks so fantastic. You know, I say yoga, but it's yoga, hip, Pilates. They do a bunch of them, but yet it was one of them. And, and I just really quickly asked her, you know, you don't get a lot of time. I said, what do you have for breakfast? You know, I'm just trying to get like something. And the big takeaway I got from her is I don't like what she had for breakfast, but I I would think it'd be like a smoothie. No, it was a, a bar, you know, some sort of healthy oh, bar. Oh, I can't something. do bars in the, no. And I'm like, I can't do that. But she's also teaching three classes in a day. So she has to do that because she's so busy. But regardless, I don't want to do a bar. But what the big takeaway was that I didn't think of, she said she tries to get 20 grams or less, less than 20 grams of sugar a day. So what that started making okay. me do is I started to look huh. and pay attention to how much sugar I was actually eating or drinking. So now when I flip over my kombucha, I will look to see, okay, how much sugar is in this? If there's, you know, five grams of sugar, okay, well then I need to know that's five grams. I've got 15 left for the day. Tip. 20 grams. Isn't that a good tip? Well, about that 20 grams of sh- it does. And the thing about it is I wasn't even paying attention to my sugar. And especially as you get older, you really do need to pay attention to your sugars and you need to pay attention to your carbohydrates because your body does not metabolism like they do with the cute little 30s, metabolize like they do with the cute little 30s and the little 20 year olds that we're all watching on Instagram. We're like, oh my God, you're so cute. And I love your little cute little diet tips, and your little snacks. They don't work for us. Well, once you hit 40, you got to well, not only that, it. but you've got glycation that can happen in the face. And that's with your, you know, a lot with, do with your sugars, your sugars really affect your overall skin care health and your skin. You'll notice to remove your sugars and you do look a lot better because it breaks everything down. It really does. It makes a big yeah, difference. And so the sad part of this story is, and I knew it, I knew it was wrong, but I, I was just like, eh, whatever. I was having, this is so bad, at night, I was having, filling up my little mason jar with a bunch of ice and I pour half sparkling Pellegrino in it and half lemonade and it was so fun. And now I'm like, Ashley, I don't know how much sugar you were just drinking right before bed. I mean, you know, come on. 
let's get together. Oh, but, my goodness. So, yeah. I know. But, you know, sometimes you're just like, whatever. They even say Anyways. when you're that glycation that can occur, which glycation, just so you know, it's a process which is caused by the presence of excess glucose and skin fibers. But sometimes you'll have like a line that goes from your like the lower edge of your lip down. And that's usually a sign that you have excess glycation which is reaction to sugar molecules, which it can break down the collagen elasticity, oh my gosh. which is what keeps your skin firm and supple. Just FYI. Which is what I have. I totally have that because I am a sugar nut. And I've, <laughs> I, I literally am. I'm a sugar nut and I got to stop. So I hope this is motivating to you. It's motivating for me. I'm really going to try to get less than 20 grams of sugar today. So do it with Great me. Great tip. Try it with me. And if you have any tips, reach out to us at lindsayholder.com. We have a skincare community. It's called La- Free LaPree. Uh-huh. So Anyways, what digestive um, issues do they help with, Ashley? Okay. Sorry. Thanks. So it prevents digestive issues if you're bloated, constipated, or you have diarrhea. And then they also help boost your immune system by producing substances that inhibit the growth of the harmful bacteria. And then probiotics also, this is a big one. It helps reduce inflammation. And why that is big is because we are all learning that diseases such as cancer, diabetes, and heart disease are all caused by inflammation. I just sent you a TikTok, Ashley. I don't know if you've seen all my TikToks. But it was very interesting. This it's I'm sure it's controversial to a lot of people, but um, this one man, him and I think it was his brother, they both got cancer at the same time. And I think his Ooh. brother did the traditional route of the chemotherapy and all that. And he did not. He went against all his doctors and he actually basically stopped eating. And I can't remember what he did. It was like a water diet with something else for a month. And he cured his cancer. But the reason is because you're starving it out of your body. But I just thought Mm. that was so interesting. And I need to to go back and look at that TikTok that I I, am. Yeah. But it just reminds me that cancer feeds off of sugar. Yes, yeah, sugar feeds the cancer cells, and we all have cancer cells in our body. Yeah, it's about to come out or not. Yeah, I always think exactly. that when I have too much sugar, I actually have a mental thought of you're feeding your cancer. Do you ever think that at all? I do. I do. I think to myself when I do too much sugar, I do. Actually, I think that's too. That's funny that we both think so that way. So then it, what it does is it puts my mind in the mindset of, okay, you had this, so you need to do a little fasting for a little bit. You need to stop eating oh, at this time. I love that. So you need to do your intermittent fasting. And then what I used to do, obviously, before I got pregnant, I haven't done it yet because I'm pumping right now, but I used to also not eat for 24 hours. And Ashley, you've gone 48 hours, almost 72, right? Or is it just 48? Yeah, I made it to 63. 63. And then I just couldn't go on. Yeah, but that does really help kind of reset everything and starves those out. Just wanted to just put that in there. Anyway, you can get, I don't mean to go over your notes, Ashley, but you said that probiotics, they reduce anxiety and depression. Is that right? That's what I read that it reduces anxiety and depression and symptoms and can improve your overall mood. So that was some of the things that I found in my research. Well, whenever you drink kombucha, you seem to be a good mood. (laughs) I know, but kombucha has some green tea in it, so it might be the green tea, (laughs) caffeine. (laughs) This is interesting. I actually cannot drink kombucha. Really? Yeah, because it makes me feel drunk. It really does, just because of the process, the way it's fermented and everything. I do not feel well at all when I have it. Kombucha actually makes me feel better. It really works well with my body, especially if I'm having a day where I feel like a little nauseous or something. I'll drink kombucha or if I feel sluggish, it works really well with my body. So that is very interesting. Oh, I start slurring my words. (laughs) Really? Like, what'd you have? Kombucha. (laughs) So I am turning 46 in May. I can't believe it. (laughs) And I am also an esthetician. And I often get mistaken, I'm not just bragging here, but I do get mistaken for someone in their early 30s a lot. And that is because I work hard on my skin. And I also work hard to find the products that will work well for you and your skin that is going to make a big difference. The biggest question I get often is, okay, are you doing Botox or fillers? And when I say no, the second question I get Okay, what do you do? (laughs) What is your secret sauce? 
One of my biggest secrets is that I use the droplet device. This device was created by MIT scientists, and it is the closest thing that you can get results without using a needle, in my opinion. If you head to lindsayholder.com slash backslash droplets, that's L-I-N-D-S-E-Y-H-O-L-D-E-R dot com backslash D-R-O-P-L-E-T-T-E and use code LAPREEBEAUTY20, that's L-A-P-R-E-E. B-E-A-U-T-Y 20, you can get 20% off your first device. This device, get this, delivers the serum 20 times deeper into your skin. And this is without needles. It uses micro infusion technology in this handheld device. That is so incredible. Ashley and I use this at home several times a week. We like to rotate between the retinol drops, for our forehead wrinkles and our neck and 11s and the collagen hydrofiller capsules for that it gives you that plumping lifting effect which I definitely need to just keep up in my 40s my mid 40s it really works I would not say it didn't I mean I would not say it did <laughs> if it didn't and we are so happy to share one of our favorite esthetician secret devices with you so again you want to get that discount code it's so easy head to lindsayholder.com backslash the droplet and use code laprebeauty20 for 20 percent off that is a great discount you're welcome (laughs) because we asked them directly hey can we get a discount also that page will give you more information and some before and after pictures for you to look at so head to lindsayholder.com backslash the droplet today Well, I will tell you this, when you drink kombucha, it does make your breath smell like you have alcohol on it. Because I remember going to your house, Lindsay, one time and, and I told you, I don't know if you remember this. I said, I said, did you just, cause Lindsay doesn't drink. And I said, did you just have some alcohol or something? And you said, no, I've got kombucha. So that made me aware. So whenever I go and visit my kids, like at school and have like lunch with them or something, I make sure I do not drink a kombucha right before going in (laughs) because you know so where do you normally get all your fermented foods do you just get like whole foods or we have a store called earth fair here yeah i don't go to whole foods that much just because of of the location that's right beside my house so i go there yeah yeah so if whole foods was beside my house i would totally go there i go to earth fair i will give you this tip though because any organic health food store like earth fair whole foods or whatever is in your area they are expensive, especially with today's prices where I feel like we're just oh my blowing goodness. so much money on. I was in the health food store actually on Sunday and I told my kids because on Saturday and Sunday in the mornings, I just don't want to cook. Like get up, let's find something that y'all can make yourself. So I said, pick out a healthy, you know, not healthy, just pick out a cereal that's not, you know, Captain Crunch. Come on. At least it doesn't have artificial colors in there because I can't stand the artificial dyes and stuff. So my son picked out this really fun birthday cake cereal. Again, it's in the health food store, so it doesn't have the artificial dyes. Let me think, $6.99 or $7.99? No, it was almost $9. I said, you put that back. (laughs) I said, I go, oh my goodness. Have we literally reached the world where cereal can be $9? Wow. No, $9. And I totally know what they would do. They would fill that cereal to the rim, pour all the grass fed, grass finished milk to it, and then eat half. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. That's where my money goes. That's why I'm always hustling. Anyways, but I have to say my favorite is kombucha. I like kimchi because it's spicy and I love spicy stuff. What about you, Lindsay? Which one do you like? I just like yogurt. Or sauerkraut. Nice. I would probably do a a pickle. I do want to say, if you can find a fermented pickle, please let me know. I have been searching for a fermented pickle. Let me know in our community. I said it before, lindsayholder.com. It's called a pre-beauty. You just quickly, it takes like, I don't know, like 10 seconds to sign up. Just put in your information and then send us a message in there. If you have found a place that has fermented pickles. I have not found that yet, and I'm a pickle person, so I would love to have some. And then you'll see, once you go into our community, you'll see Lindsay has some fun 
esthetician videos. We've got skin school. We're really focused on working on our database right now. Every week we are adding ingredients in there from products that we are testing and approve in there. We also have a list of all of our skincare questions. A lot of them are answered. If they're not answered, we put the skincare questions in there because that's a note for Lindsay and I to answer them. So if you're like, ooh, I have a really good question I want to ask them, send us a message. Yeah, they make so it to the show. I do solo podcast and answer member yeah, you, questions. You're working on one right now for the next one. Yep, it's almost done. So I love hearing what people want to, to learn about. Me too. Because I already know it. So what do you want to learn about? I mean, I can create a question myself, but it's interesting to hear what's on everybody's minds or what different challenges and problems that they have. And I love trying to figure it out and like put it like a protocol together or something. So anyway, I will say related to skin health, because that's what this podcast is all about. Skin and wellness is that's our specialty. Probiotics are also very important for your skin. A couple of reasons. First of all, they do improve the skin's barrier function. As we know, the skin's barrier function is so important for preventing moisture loss and protecting the skin from environmental damage. I always look at the skin barrier is one of my first things like let's get that completely checked and fixed and get that like healthy first then we can look at other things but probiotics can help to strengthen the skin's barrier function which can lead to smoother more hydrated skin we mentioned how probiotics can also reduce inflammation inflammation is huge this includes your skin also it could be a huge plus especially for those with inflammatory skin conditions as you know such as eczema acne and rosacea those are huge inflammation challenges that you can have. So definitely look at your probiotics. Now we're going to move from probiotics to prebiotics. And you'll be super excited to know that I kept this one super simple so that you can easily remember it. I'm not going into all the science of it. I just want you to remember it's the food that feeds the probiotics. So really easy. So your probiotics in order to, you know, make sure your probiotics are in there and, and healthy and think or not healthy, but they're in there and they're thriving. They need to eat stuff too. So you need to provide them with probiotics and they are things like bananas. I will let you know, bananas that are unripe contain even more prebiotics. That is very Now for the unripe bananas for recipe, you just let me know what that is because I currently don't have one. <laughs> it would have to be like banana bread. Oh, you said unripe. Just put them in your smoothie. Yeah, unripe. Oh, I'm You're thinking of overripe. So, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> that would be some nasty banana bread. <laughs> I don't maybe know. Maybe a smoothie, maybe. But no, you would have that sour. T it's kind of like a you sour You can look taste. it up on pen. That's, I don't know. That was a joke. I didn't really meant for me for you to run with it. Lindsay Bear. <laughs> I'm running with it. Um, yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't know. I didn't <laughs> look that up and you have to look it up, up on Pinterest if you're bored. Go to Pinterest and look up unripe banana recipes. Anyways, onions, garlics, artichokes, asparagus, chicory root. You might be thinking chicory root. What are you talking about? That I'm going to get to in just a second of where you're actually going to want Wait, to can I, find that. Let me tell you something uh -huh. because I'm cool like this and I have a dual oh monitor. I should just not. Oh, yeah. I typed real quick recipes with unripe bananas and it's called green bananas. 15 delicious green banana recipes to try this week. Green banana mash doesn't sound delicious. That Raw banana so fry, gross. boiled green bananas, green banana curry. <laughs> oh my God, that sounds gross. I will say maybe the green banana fries, maybe. I probably could do that. <laughs> but then I'm going to mess it up because I'm going to dip it in some ranch there sauce. There you go. <laughs> okay. So I don't know. That, I, you know, yeah, I'll have backfired. to do it. That totally did. Dandelion greens. I'm continuing, let's say. Wheat bran, barley, oats, cooked and cooled potatoes, green peas, lentils. A special tip for you. You want to go slow with all of these. So don't go up and load up on Ashley's list just now. <laughs> you can have <laughs> some digestive issues. So let's just keep it nice and slow. Maybe just add one or two a week to your meals and then continue from there. You need to build up. Build up tall. Or, yeah. Or you'll have a build up. Or, or back up. Oh, Was that what no, you're actually going to have some, I think it's called a Dutch oven situation. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> well, okay. Well, related to your skin, 
prebiotics, just like probiotics, help to improve your skin's barrier function like we talked about. It helps strengthen the skin's barrier function. It can lead to smoother, more hydrated skin, just like we mentioned before. And particularly, it's beneficial for those with dry or sensitive skin. Promoting skin hydration, prebiotics can also help to promote skin hydration by enhancing the skin's natural moisturizing factors. Yeah, and as you notice, because your hormones change around perimenopause and at perimenopause and menopause, that's why you get that dry skin is because your hormones are changing. So it's a really great idea to add these prebiotics and probiotics. Now, this last one, remember when I said chicory root, I'm about to get into that with symbiotics. And symbiotics is probably one you have not heard of it. And I love it because it is a combination of probiotics and probiotics prebiotics. And the combo improves gut health because simultaneously is introducing new good bacteria and feeding the existing gut, you know, microbiota. Thank you. So uh, my brain freeze right there. I was like, I'm going to botch that word up. So I got you. Thank you to the rescue. So basically, you're combining the probiotics and prebiotics to enhance your health benefits. And I love doing two things at once to get the most bang for your buck. Because I mean, we're all so busy. So if we can get it in one serving, that's fantastic. So this is where I talked to you about the chicory root. So yogurt or kefir with the added prebiotic fiber, you're going to look for a yogurt brand that also has inulin in it, or probably what it's going to say is chicory root, because that's the inulin fiber. And I do know that if you're looking for brands, again, always flip it over because things can change by the time we air the podcast and marketing and companies, you just never know, or whenever you listen to it. But Chobani's Less Sugar Greek Yogurt line, that contains chicory root fiber, and so does Siggy's. So flip it over, the yogurts are going to have the bacteria in them, you can see the bacteria strains, but make sure it has the chicory root in there. Also, you can get probiotics. Maybe we could add in the skin school, the types of bacteria strains I need to look for. That's what I would want to know. Really? Okay. Uh, all right. Well, because you say you can look for the types of strains, but I well, would Well, think- what I do, I'm not so type A where I look at my yogurt strains and like, you know, look to see all the different types. I just think that's a fun, cool fact so that you're just kind of looking on the back. They all list the strains on there, but it's usually this. I don't know. Anyways. Well, maybe we should know, but just because I'm just saying the type that we should look for I would be curious what that type that is, or maybe it doesn't make a difference. I don't know. I think it'd be fun to put that in skin school. So what y'all are hearing is Lindsay's telling me to put that in skin school. That's cool. All right. I'll put it in skin school. I'll look it up. I just was doing the fun way of flipping over the yogurt and looking, oh, cool. There's a big long word I can't say, but I know I'm eating something good. Let's put it in the cart. You can also get probiotic supplements with added prebiotic fiber. And then as Lindsay and I were talking about fermented foods like sauerkraut um, and kimchi, they contain both probiotics and prebiotics. And my last one, this is one that Lindsay and I both love, oh, yeah. is miso. I love ordering miso soup at Japanese restaurants. So next time you're ordering miso, you can tell the person you're with, oh my goodness, this symbiotic soup is so delicious. I love miso. And I could eat miso every day. It just has this nice, gentle flavor. It's just soothing. It's kind of like the bone broth version to me. You know how you have bone broth. Miso kind of reminds me of that. It's just that warm, not too overpowering taste. I really like that one. I hope that this inspires you to add one of those healthy side dishes like that miso to your next meal. Plus it also fills you up a little bit too, if you think about it. So add it as a little side dish. So there you go. Ashley wrote this. (laughs) Oh, I see what uh, you did. I wrote wrote a bunch of (laughs) side notes, uh, show notes, and I'm not going to read it. This is I, wrote, I don't know what you did here, but I wrote some really sweet stuff about how we can all help each other. And Lindsay just is obviously too to read tired. It. So she's just like, I just I'm not skim, I that. just skip over it like a sister would. Like, <laughs> I ain't saying that. <laughs> oh my God. Actually, ad libs for me, just so you know, on the podcast notes. And it's something that she would cheesy say, but n- not that I would. And I'm thinking, I'm not going to do that. 
I literally plant in jokes. You do. She plant. That's exactly what you do. You plant in <laughs> odd things for me to say, and then I'm I going do. over our show notes. I'm like, what the heck? And it's <laughs> usually it's beside a rainbow emoji, or I'll have some crazy all these emojis along with or some motivational sentence, and Lizzie just skips right. Like this one over says, it. and if you're driving in traffic, maybe let someone in front of you, or if you're walking. Maybe smile at a passerby, question mark. I so mean, I think what it is, is that we see who's the sweet sister and who's the spicy one. Hey. Oh, my word. Who, who's talk, don't talk to a mother who just had a newborn and try to dr- and ask her to be yeah. drippy, <laughs> su- yeah. sugary sweet. <laughs> Lucy's smiling at nobody. <laughs> She's like, what do you want? I'm busy. <laughs> I will after I have a nap and some food. Give me some miso Fair. soup <laughs> and a nap, and then Fair. I will smile. And then I'll maybe I'll read your line. I don't know. It's got to have a lot of emojis <laughs> beside it. We are here together, though, in all seriousness, on this skin health and emotional journey with you, and we really do care. That's why we go into a lot of details with the podcast, even including adding the correct bacteria strains in Skin School. So Ashley's going to add that as well. I know I'm going to hear it after this show. Oh, I'm totally having a conversation. Guess what? I'm like, thanks. I'm here for the people. I'm here for you guys. Mm -hmm. A couple of things would love for you to rate and review us i know at this point you're like oh, i'm gonna turn us off but seriously it makes i just wanted you to know this if you're new to podcasting world it makes such a difference if you just take 10 seconds out of your day to rate and review us it pulls us on the charts to where people will find us so we can continue to do this it makes such a difference by the way every if you're gonna rate uh, no constructive criticism okay if we just want a five star we just hanging on by thread <laughs> and nice words each week and nice words maybe maybe we, we get need... bigger but right now just five yeah. stars. <laughs> when we're bigger we can get some constructive criticism but right now we, we're not there yet yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the second keep it sweet yeah the second thing is to join our community, lindsayholder.com. My name is spelled L-I-N-D-S-E-Y-H-O-L-D-E-R. Just hit join our community. That way you can have a conversation with Ash and I. You can, we will welcome you to our community. We will ask you if you have any skincare questions. And then if you're lucky enough, which you usually are, I will answer your skincare question on the show. I take about three to four questions when I do my solo episodes. So it does take a little bit, but they're usually answered because those are questions from our members. And it gives us such joy to have you in the community with us. You're going to learn so much in the community. Again, as she was saying, I personally do skincare videos in there. As she does skin school, which she goes over different ingredients. And we just started our database, which goes over all the ingredients inside products and if we approve them or not i think and that's how we base off the products that we list in there those ones have been approved because we've looked up all the ingredients and we're like okay this is safe and fine for your skin right so that's how we do it exactly it's called our member vip skincare knowledge base so it's a spreadsheet you just ask for access to it once you're inside our membership yeah you just have to once you're inside the membership you just click on it and then it'll send Lindsay and i a notification that you want to get in so we'll just click and give you access to absolutely it. so thanks for listening today we can't wait to see you inside our community that's what we're here for and lastly if you want to see what products that we use on our skin and what we're into head to lindsayholder.com and under the shop section, you'll see everything that we use and that will just be an easy way. It's even listed by podcast episode, but it has shop our skincare and even has our specialty codes that you can get a discount to. Thanks for listening, everybody. We will be here same time, same place on next Tuesday. And until next time.